Oh. Oh, he's team Rust. It's like a hosting to you. Oh, I'm playing on um, a, an, public a public server, and they're extremely racist. Okay, never yeah, so, mind. So, Don't stream right. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, but oh my god, can I tell you a story about Rust? Okay, first of all, I've been consuming a lot of Rust content. I love Rust YouTube. It is so good. Rust YouTube has, like, I don't know how, all their YouTubers are so fucking good. Uh -huh. Fucking Wellen, there's June, there's Frost, f probably fucking more. And, but, but, I, I okay, I was on, I, I was on our server, right? And, or I was on mine, and we were just on a public server. It's like me and some friends, you know? Um, and we were going to raid some guys because they pissed us off. So we're really bad at the game. We lose to fucking everyone. Yeah, okay. We suck, All right? right. But we have the power of, like, brain damage, okay, you know? Okay, So we, like, and anger. We're fueled by pure rage. Okay. We lose fights all the time. So we went Got up it. on a hill. We looked to raid some guys. Um, we're just messing with them, and then we get d obliterated, right? By, okay. like, fucking sticks and rocks and bubble gum that they put on the end of a rock okay. and stick. And so then we're like, oh, we're pissed. So we go farm some sulfur, make... You know, satchel tries. We're like, we're gonna raid the shit out of these guys, right? Uh -huh. We go in, we go boom, 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 yeah. up the up the hill. We're like, okay, these guys aren't on. We're gonna be fine. Boom, boom, boom. We get fucking counter raided, right? We get counter raided by some hazmat, some bastards. We, we fucking entire focus shifted to the hazmat bastards, and the hazmat bastards are coming in, and they get to the base we're raiding. Now the base we're raiding is like, is we come in from the roof and we drop in. And then, you know, you raid it, and then, you know, we don't know the door code, so we come in from the roof. Yeah. Um, so there's no ladder up. Uh -huh. So when we got counter-raided, the hazmats jumped into the hole and killed us and then couldn't get out. <laughs> so we came back with, like, full gear sets. And so there are three guys just trapped in this house, and we're like, are they still in there? And then we'd go in, and they're still in there. We'd get, like, gunned down. And so it was just, like, we waited outside of the base, and we were just like had a guy on top of the base, a guy on a hill opposite of the base aiming at the hole they'd have to come out of. Okay. And then another guy watching for guys, their friends to come help them because they had another team. So it was like 45 minutes to an hour of us just like in real life time, just sitting outside of this base waiting for them to come out. Uh -huh. And it was like two or three day night cycles uh -huh. passed. And so I would just like randomly jump in with a water pipe shotgun and try and get them low just constantly over and over and I die and I die they just pointed their guns and then at one point at night time their friends came and managed to kill us and they got out and they typed in chat we were trying to talk to them the whole time over voice and they weren't messaging us and then right when they got out they were like mm -hmm, thanks for the stuff pussies and we were, uh, we were so fucking angry our entire worldview shifted <laughs> and so we we took all of our scrap reserves we bought jackhammers we traveled to the south side of the map the icy mountainous parts we farmed sulfur for like an hour we farmed sulfur full inventories of sulfur okay now. full inventories come back we're fueled by pure rage we know where they live Two of us are getting sulfur. Two of us are scouting out where these bastard rats live, where the rats live, right? Mm -hmm. And we, and our scouts figure out that the entire time that we're out collecting sulfur, they're upgrading their base. They're upgrading their base. Yeah, they're, making it, we're, they're making it. They're making it like, and so the whole time they're making it harder for us to raid while we're planning to raid because they kind of know we're gonna raid them. Uh -huh. These people are bastards. Uh -huh. They they type in chat. We lost some satchels charges to them. They type in chat. Thanks for the boom. And then try, they type, try Fortnite, too. And so our friend, like, uh, goes and checks, like, if they're still online. We, like, we get so many satchel charges. We wait till they fucking leave the server. We get up on their roof. We fucking just start chucking satchels like it's, fu like it's nothing. Satchel, satchel, satchel. Fucking going through their roof. We got the ladders. We got the whole squad there. We start blowing through their roof, and then we hear a minicopter land on the roof. Like, oh, shit, a counter raid to the people who counter raided us. Um, then we shot, we, uh, I was like hiding and then double barreled like one of the counter raiders. But then we found out that the counter raiders were actually our, some friends like that we had made on the server at another base. Uh -huh. They just like let us chill and gave us some more satchels. Uh -huh. So we like fucking blew down their base. They had uh -huh. a, a, a armored bunker under the, like a shell of stone base, uh -huh. which was fucked. But we managed to, we called in one of those guys who was going to counter us, turned out to be our friend from earlier. He told us, like, what the technique was. It's called bunkering. It's where you, like, 
it's where you put a piece of thatch underneath, uh, like a thatch foundation down, and then armored walls around it with no doors. So when you wake up, you just break the thatch, uh -huh. and, and the walls break, or something sh shit like that. And so we managed to get in there, and we fucking, we hit the mother, we got into the, with that knowledge from the man who we shot in the back. Uh -huh. um, then we got in, so we got into like the bunker, we got all of our loot kits back, we killed them, we chopped their bodies up, took their skulls, I made 25 wooden signs, I drew thanks for the boom, try Fortnite, I drew, I drew f maybe 15, 20 penises on that base. So many, you should see the fucking base. I had one where it was five or ten signs just scrawled across the base and it was just one big dick. Huge, huge dick. I put so much detail, it was like a mural. My friend Gabe helped me out. It was like a collaborative effort. It was huge, it was massive. I drew a little smiley faces off and then we locked their TC and took their base for ourselves and then closed the entire thing up so they couldn't get back in. Um, and then now I think today we're probably gonna like bully them in chat. For, for 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 getting raided, it was it was pretty sick. I feel like I experienced like all of Rust in that one, in that one, like night. That's why I was up till five. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was that up till five. A lot. Yeah, that was why I was up till five. It was so fucking worth it. I, in so that moment, I was euphoric. <laughs> I was. I cannot explain like the amount of dopamine and serotonin in my skull as I chopped up their bodies with my hatchet. I cannot describe like the feeling of revenge on such a level. Cause we were we were like, fuck we were like we were I, I don't even know what word dis uh, despondent. We were despondent after we lost the fight to like their friends outside. And they got out of the hole because we were like chucking grenades in the hole. We couldn't. They're rats. The rats. You have to understand the rats. And they wouldn't get out of the hole. And then they took all our shit. And then shit talked us in chat. It would sucked. It was the worst. And then we killed them, cut up their bodies, and took their skulls. And then took their base. And I draw dicks all over the base. Yeah. Thanks for. Uh, th thanks for watching. Bye.